guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing this um, warm tone cut crease type thing going on here. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see how I did this, keep on watching. So my foundation is all set and I primed my eyes, so now I'm gonna set it and I'm going to be taking um, Tempera from the Soft Glam Palette. And I'm just gonna use this to set my lids. Next, with the same brush, I'm just going to dip into Orange Soda. And I know I said this in the last video that I did using this palette, but I really, really am loving this palette. I'm placing this above my crease. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of burnt orange. I'm going to apply this to and I'm going to apply this above my crease as well with a clean brush I'm just going to blend out the edges next I'm going to go in with a little bit of sienna I'm using this more dense fluffy brush and applying that to my crease as well, get that more depth. Going back in with orange soda and I'm just blending out the edges with that. I'm going to be taking Cypress Umber with this little pencil brush, and I am going to place that right on the crease. Then I'm just going to blend that out. Next, I'm going to take some concealer on a flat brush and I'm going to start cutting my crease. kind of winging it out a little bit. And with a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend this concealer downwards. Alrighty, I'm gonna do the other side real quick and it'll be right back. Now I'm gonna change palettes very briefly and I'm gonna take the color Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and that is this one right there. I'm gonna take that on a flat brush and I'm just going to press this over top the concealer. Now I'm going to take some scotch tape. I'm going to stick it on the back of my hand a couple of times. All right, I'm just going to apply this tape to the corner of my eye. Just one layer. I'm going to take that same pencil brush and I'm going to go back into Cypress Umber, the dark brown shade, and I'm going to start Slowly sketching out a wing on my eyelid. I'm gonna switch over to like this flatter brush. That way I can get nice and close to my lash line. I'm gonna dip into Noir. 
a black shade in this palette. I'm literally just tapping it. And I'm going to use this to darken up this wing. Start blending it upwards into the brown. I'm gonna go back into the Silk Cream color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use this to blend this line together with the lid. I'm gonna peel that back. And I'm just going to sharpen that line a bit. And now with some concealer, I'm just going to clean up this line so it's nice and sharp. Now I'm going to go back in with the color Cypress Umber with that pencil brush and I'm going to just smudge this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with Burnt Orange. And I'm going to blend that together, my lower lash line. I am now just lining my waterline with a nude pencil. For lashes today, I am using the Red Cherry Lashes. Um, in Stevie and I was going to use a different pair of lashes and then when I put it on the package I ruined them so whoopsie but I'm going to be using these um, I really like these they're easy to put on they're lightweight and they're worn in so I like these I'm using the Fully Charged Mascara by Pure Cosmetics. For brows today, I am using the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline, and this is in the color Deep Brown. And again, I'm just taking a little bit of product off of that wand. are done. Um, I do have to say I really do like this product. I am using that a lot more lately and I think that's something that I would buy again. And I got some smudge on my face. Oh well. It's a freckle now. I am going to be highlighting my face and I think you already know what I'm going to be using. First I'm going to be Spraying my face and got my mouth. Don't know why I wanted to talk while I was doing that, but the does not taste good. Now I'm gonna go in with my brush into the Anastasia Amarizi highlighter. Oh yes. on my inner corner and on my brow bone. And for lips, I am using the Smashbox Triple Tone B Legendary Lipstick in the color Nude Ombre. The camera is such a bitch today. All right, so I went and did my lips and I used the Smashbox B Legendary Nude Ombre Lipstick and then I quickly changed my mind and wanted to use Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. And I quite like the combo. Alright everybody, and that is it for today's video. In the description box I will list products that I did use on my face that I didn't mention throughout the video. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this look. Let me know down below what you think of it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet already. At 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so you don't want to miss that. Alright guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!
And lastly, lips and for lips, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Triple Tone Mascara. 